Yo, lads. Today I'm playing uh, Ready or Not. I kind of I wanted to talk about the new update coming to Ready or Not because I mean it, it just it looks cool as fuck, man. You know what I mean? I've been following this game since about like God, when was it fucking announced? However long ago it was announced, I've literally been following it since it was announced. I picked it up around Christmas time, and uh, I mean I I really like this game. I just I think it's a fucking it's a solid game. It's great. And the content updates that they're bringing to the game are like just they're really improving it every single time they add like new features and new updates and content to the game and they, they're fucking killing it dude the devs are killing it and I just I, I, I wanted to like take a bit of time to like talk about the new update that's coming this month because this kind of links to a video that I've been making that I've been putting off which is that the standard and quality of video games nowadays is like really shit. No, not really shit, but it's, it's, it's gone down compared to like the past, right? It's more focus on monetization and all this other like shit instead, like, instead of just making a game everyone can enjoy and have fun with. When I say everyone, I mean like the, the player base. I mean like look at Halo Infinite, man. Look at Battlefield 2042. And then you see a game like Ready or Not, and how it's just, it's so fun to play. And the devs clearly enjoy making the shit, the players enjoy what's made, and everyone's having a good time. So I thought, why not make a prelude to an upcoming video of mine, a, lo a longer video as well. <laughs> We've got the first one of them coming out from a long time now. And nearly a year in fact, but anyway, yeah, it's a little prelude to that where I'm going to be talking about the new content update coming to Ready or Not, and why I think it's great, basically. So, enjoy. Okay, so, what's actually coming in this update is, like, it's a bunch of features that, in most games, would be really small, but in this case, are fucking huge. It's a lot of mainly just, like, improvements to the AI, and from what I've also gathered is, hopefully, the completion of, like, a new level called The Club, which... Is a really fucking cool level and if you've got the game you need to go and try it out because it's fucking sick anyway so the new improvements to the ai are mainly to make the game more like how do i put it i guess immersive is one way but it's like it really adds into the depth of the game so the first thing i saw was that the enemy like ai if they spawn in without a weapon they'll be able to like push you and attack you and like hit you just punch you like, box the fuck out of you right and it will stun you and all this other shit. And then, if there's a weapon on the ground nearby to them, and they're really close to it, they're gonna fucking dash, and they're gonna grab that bitch, and they're gonna shoot the fuck out of you, bro. And then that's it, it's wraps, it's over, goodbye. Unless you get them first, of course, but you know, it's whatever. And I think that's really cool. I think it's pretty cool how, like, the enemy will actually go for weapons. I mean, I know in the current game, if you, like, aren't attending to a criminal who's like on the ground they will grab a fucking weapon or they will like reach for a weapon in their pocket sometimes and go for you but like i think it's cool for the enemy to dynamically go towards a weapon and it's definitely a feature that this game will benefit from with that type of thing because it makes the scenario is more fluid and more dynamic and dynamic like scenarios is 100% like what a game like Ready or Not needs. And I'm I'm really excited for this feature specifically as well because it means I'm not going to just be fucking having to like watch one guy just for them to like randomly fucking pull out a gun and instantly die. Because chances are they're going to run for a weapon when I fucking least expect it. Which again, I think is really fucking sick because it's all dynamic. And it means you can't just instantly guess what the AI is going to do. So it's nice. The next feature they're adding is a improved cover system for the AI. Right now, the AI have two things they'll do. They'll either rush you, or they'll run behind a wall and aim at you, and then trace you through the wall until they see you. That's not fun. So what Void Interactive are doing is they're making it so enemies will dynamically take cover. And when they do, they will fire over said cover, around said cover, through said cover, 
And they won't even switch cover sometimes. It's fucking cool. We're getting functional hostiles. That's great, because the enemy will actually fucking utilize the environment to fight you. And I, I really think, again, that's something that's core to this game that will be needed for this game to do better. And I mean, I think this game's fucking great already, but a small addition just like that alone really, like, ups this game tenfold. Because it means the AI are slightly less easy to kill and slightly less predictable, as they don't just stand around and do fuck all, basically. So it's great. And then another thing that they're adding, which I've forgotten the name of, but it's more like environment interaction. The AIs will like actively hide in like closets, wardrobes, bathroom stools, underneath beds, and ambush you. Like they will hide in like spaces where you'd expect a person to hide, but not in a game. And then they will jump and they will ambush you. Bro, it's gonna fucking scare the shit out of me, honestly. Anyway, yeah, they will ambush you. And what's great is, if you kill them, they are not if you kill them, what? If you shoot where they're hiding, and it doesn't kill them, they will come out and they will surrender. Or at least they have a chance to. Unless they jump out and ambush you. Which in which case, you're, you're fucked. But they will surrender. And the AI have a more random chance of surrendering now than it was before. Because it's more based on, like, what you do. It's not just either, oh, you shouted at this guy, he surrenders, but this guy doesn't. Like, it depends. Are you, have you damaged them already? If yes, they have a higher chance of surrendering. If no, well, fucking good luck, kid. So it all depends on what the player does to get the AI to react, and I love that. Because it's more dynamic, again. And the dynamic shit is what this game will thrive off of. And with what Void Interactive are doing, it's fucking perfect. Another thing they're doing, which is more dynamic, like, updates and shit. AI with knives. The AI who have knives will actively attack an am like a player. They'll ambush you, swing at shit, right? Cut you up. And then they'll run away. And they'll hide, and they'll fucking do it again. And they'll do it again. Until they're stopped, they will keep doing it. They will attack, hide, attack, hide, attack, hide. And it's fucking great. Because, well, yeah, that's a repeating AI pattern, whatever, who cares? It's more dynamic than just you open door, guy with knife sees you, runs towards you, they're dead already because the, the knife people aren't a threat, let's be honest. At the moment, anyway. I think that's great. I, honest to God, I think that is great. And it's what this game needs. It really is what this game needs. All right, you got point. Another, like, this really cool hard. thing they're doing Don't with the AI, it. and I fucking, I adore this shit, bro. It's... Honestly, one of like the coolest features they'll probably introduce in this game. Enemies will fake being dead. Locked. And then get up. And surprise attack players. I fucking love this. So if an enemy is shot, hit by a C2 blast and not killed, or if they're shot at you in like in their direction, they will play dead. Now you can either spook them and they'll surrender. Execute them. I mean, I'll probably be the last. That area. funny. Haha. Uh -huh. Or you can fucking, if you're lucky enough, arrest them. But if you turn your back and they are playing dead, bruv, they're fucking getting up. They're picking up that gun and they're gonna kill you. It's sick. It's it's fucking awesome that they're doing shit like this. And I, I know it's like really weird to pray such a little thing, the but it's such a good right. way to make Run the game more dynamic and it flows so much better because of it. And then. Another thing, hostiles, and th this is such a like a bad thing to pray, so I'm sorry, but hostiles will commit suicide. Sometimes I'll fake it, which goes back, like, sometimes I'll fake it, but no, sometimes the, uh, if there's nothing else and they're not going to surrender, on their knees, gun to the bottom of their chin, bang, they're dead. I think that's quite cool. And sometimes I'll turn the gun on you. Like, bro, they'll go to do it, and then I'll fucking turn it on you. I'm stunned. And you can interrupt it. Obviously, meleeing them will do it. Shouting at them has a very, very small chance to do it. You can shoot them. I mean, I'll interrupt it. Or you can, like, fucking stun them with, like, the tasing and stuff like that, you know? Or the little pebble balls. There's ways to, like, stop them from doing it so you can get the arrest, because I assume letting them suicide will probably, like, deduct points. 
And then just to top it off in this update, at least what they've shown on the dev video is that they're adding like small little animations to some of the AI. So just to add on to world building. Like there's a bloke on, I think, the club map and he's just taking a piss in one of the bathrooms. There's a bloke on the meth lab just like tweaking a little bit. There's some bloke having a little cigarette. He's just he's smoking a fag outside one of the buildings. Like little world building pieces that just add on to make sense for why enemies are where they are. And I love that and I'm all for it. I'm really, really fucking excited for the future of this game. And I really can't wait to see what else the devs add. Because Void Interactive have at least shown me they are a fucking great team. And this game has so much potential and so much promise. And it isn't even backed by some AAA budget. And yet it somehow is turning out better than a majority of the modern standard games that we get released today. Civilian and I think it's really something to look at when other games can't meet the overall quality and standard that this game itself sets. And well, yes, this game has problems. Don't get me wrong. This game has bugs. This game has fucking issues. It's not perfect. But God damn, bro. It's better than half the fucking shit that gets released nowadays. But anyway, like I said, I'm not going to like go too deep into the whole like standard of video games because this is just a small little appreciation plus talking about the new update because I'm quite excited for it and I wanted to talk about that. I haven't got an estimate for that video though, it'll be out when it's out. Which is fucking, ready or not is amazing. Um, I'm going to make, I've got more content coming for this game. I'm going to be playing this game for content soon as well with some of my friends and hopefully that's going to be a lot of fun. But the main gist is this. The Don't fact that an here. indie game from a small studio can surpass the quality standards and just overall like enjoyability of AAA studio games with huge fuck off budgets. While it's a great thing, in my eyes it's kind of shameful on the industry. Because the studios with that backing can't produce what players actually want to play and enjoy. That's not all of the studios, but the big ones. So I'll leave you with that. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit.